The sustainable investing revolution will never happen without the support of key financial institutions. We are at the Morningstar Sustainable Investing Summit in Amsterdam, and I'm joined now by keynote speaker Stephen Mayor, executive director at the, the Nederlandse Bank, the Dutch National Bank. Very good, Valerio. So, Very good. <laughs> thank you. So, uh, Mr. Mayor, uh, climate change is one of the most important topics of the conference and one of the most important issues overall, I would would say. Um, what kind of role can financial institutions play in actually fighting it? Well, I think the, um, they play a very important role in, in climate change. Uh, I think first and foremost, and as you would expect from me as a supervisor and a regulator, is by assessing properly the risks uh, right. of climate change uh, to their clients, because risks to their clients can become also risks uh, to the financial institutions and to, uh, and, and to the banks. So obviously that is very important. But in addition to that, we also know is to uh, make sure that our economy is transition, is that major investments will be needed. Uh, and their banks can also have a very important role as the, the, the providers of, of loans or funding to ensure that we can make the transition to a more sustainable economy. Right, and climate change, as we said, is the most discussed topic, but it's not the only one, of course. Um, when we address sustainability risks, there is much more to evaluate, and we know that. Um, what action, for example, uh, DNB takes um, to, in order to the financial system to be better prepared to manage such risks? So obviously, in, in addition to, if you're looking at climate, we're not only looking at, uh, sorry, on environmental, we're not only looking to climate, right. but also to uh, broader environmental risks. Uh, you know, the, diverse, uh, the biodiversity is obviously very important, also very important for some of the clients of financial institutions, mm -hmm. of, of banks. And therefore, it is also important that that is taken into account by financial institutions, for example, if they look at the, the risk, we call that credit risks, uh, for example, of their clients is take that into account. But we also look at broader sustainability issues. Uh, supervisors, regulators have a long tradition of looking also at governance. Governance of financial institutions is very important to make sure that financial institutions are viable, is that you know that they can adapt to new changes, changes in the environment, changes in competition, and therefore governance has always had the attention uh, from regulators and, and central banks. And maybe finally on social, I think that is probably the area which is a bit further ahead where we are less far uh, ahead, less developed yet, uh, but where it affects us as a, a central bank is, for example, the inclusiveness of the financial system. How do we ensure that everybody can participate uh, in the financial system, that there's access uh, to bank accounts and, and in that sense can contribute, let's say, to the personal uh, well-being, their financial well-being as a citizen. Of course, very important. And finally, what is your take on the current situation of the European Sustainable Finance Regulation? Um, surely much has already been done, but a lot remains to be done, I believe. What do you think? Well, first of all, we, so we have we have seen ourselves as supervisors that uh, initially climate risks should to some extent be similar to other risks. These are risks that can affect clients of banks mm -hmm. and therefore they need to be prepared. They need to take that into account when they take a new client uh, on board, assess those risks. So we have, we have taken the position already under the existing rules banks should take climate, climate environmental risks mm -hmm. uh, into account. At the same time, to have a level playing field uh, across the globe, it would be better if we have a more common understanding globally about what those, how you do it. And so it's very good that there's progress in Europe on uh, given a, you know, a, a integrating uh, climate and environmental risks into the, uh, the banking framework. I think the biggest area now, a very important area now where also financial institutions are, have to cope with is everything that has to do with disclosure. Uh, making sure, first of all, that uh, clients disclose, uh, first of all, to the public, but also to uh, the banks, information uh, on their, their climate risk, on, on the environmental risk. And although there's been a lot of rules have been made there now, it's really important now that we work with it, is that we use it. Uh, there will be some, you know, we'll probably have to adjust over time because this is a, uh, a major new area. Uh, but there it's really about implementation and making sure 
uh, that, it, that it works. I think my main message here should be don't wait until the whole regulatory system is, let's say, mm. finalized, etc. There is already under the existing requirements for financial institutions and banks, there is already uh, a good reason uh, to take uh, a climate and environmental risks into account. Very clear. Thanks a lot to Stephen Mayor. Thank you very much. For Morningstar, Valerio Bazelli. Thanks for watching.